What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be doing a comparison between the original Rasasi Hawass, the second flanker, Rasasi Hawass Ice, and the newest flanker, a lot of hype here with Rasasi Hawass Black. Really a lot of hype with all three of them. So there are varying differences between the profiles, not so much differences in the performance. They're all certified B, some a little stronger than others, but I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts on the breakdowns between the three, and if it were me, if I was just going to get one, which one would I get? So stay tuned. So I have the notes on screen for the original Rasasi Hawass. So Rasasi Hawass is, a lot of people have always touted it as smelling similar to Invictus Aqua 2016, and this came out a year before it. I, on the other hand, look at it more as smelling similar to the original Invictus, not as aquatic as something like Invictus Aqua, whereas that's where ice comes in. Ice is closer to that. We'll talk about that in a moment. Whereas this is basically, to me, spicier Paco Rabanne Invictus. There's cinnamon and cardamom. You have a beautiful plum, fruity sweetness here. It's still that bubblegum aquatic, high compliment factor type of stuff. Up close, though, there if you smell it really close, it's... Uh, chemically synthetic and cheaper smelling admittedly so but i gotta say out in the air it's pure magic and uh this is one that you know the first time i got it i did five sprays turns out it was overwhelmingly strong at five sprays uh, i had gotten feedback uh at a local grocery store on just how strong it was coming off of my skin if, like literally two or three hours after i'd sprayed it so i dialed it back to four sprays which i don't think is greatly a, a big difference really uh, but it is a little bit less. So typically I wear around four sprays when I wear this one. This is a certified monster off of my skin. Uh, and it's gotten so much cheaper than it used to be in the past where now it's in the high 30s to low 40s range. Pretty much consistently. I'll try to have links down below if you want to check out any of these three versions of Hawass. But this is the original. Uh, very much something familiar with the twist. Uh, the twist being the heavy dose of spices that you get here. It's not over the top warm and spicy, but distinctively spicy accords have been added to this profile and it's just pure joy high compliment factor great performance a lot of bang for your buck here with Rasasi Hawass now with Rasasi Hawass Ice we'll have the notes on screen for this one this is more like Invictus Aqua with mint is what I've always found it to be similar to there's a nice minty tone at the top love the opening of this one to me best opening of the bunch it does remain true to the Hawass profile. It's that bubblegum Invictus aquatic type of stuff. Not as spicy though. Fresher, more watery, and you have the mintiness. So there are differences here. Is there some redundance? Sure, there's some redundance, and it is clearly a flanker to the Hawass profile. But in a lot of ways, I find it to be similar because it's just as beastly powerful. I think it's that much fresher and it offers that much more likability overall. Another one that's a high compliment factor. I apologize, the sun's starting to come through these mini blinds all of a sudden in the middle of recording, as you can see on my face. Um, it smells great. It's just no other way to look at it. It smells great. This is another monster performer in longevity. Projection and Siage is one, again, four to five sprays is all I need. It is a high performing fragrance that's in that $50 range. It's a lot, again, a lot of bang for your buck here with an extremely attractive profile. People love fresh. And this dials up the freshness from the original. This ice is a good fitting name for it because that mintiness definitely gives it more of a cooling factor. It's Hawass Ice. Finally, notes on screen for Hawass Black. This had a lot of hype leading up. It got released early. There was a lot of talk of, you know, people read one thing on the internet. They believe it's, the, that's the word of God. I read it on the internet and they start going around to everybody's videos. This is fake. That's a fake release. No, it isn't. Never was. Not a fake release. Uh, this particular bottle came from Perfume Box. You can get it at places like Joma Shop. Fragrance Buy, I believe Fragrance Net has it now. There's so many others that are carrying it pretty easy to get in that $50 to $60 range is going rate right for it right now. Now, initially, we all thought this was going to be similar to Absolute Aventus from Creed. No, no, very much Nishane's Hachivat. Fruity, citric opening, a lot of oak moss here. Very Shepra heavy. I get more cedar wood. Then I do other supporting notes besides the oak moss. And this is actually less spicy than anticipated. Less spicy green than actual Hachivat. And it's not as smoky of an oak moss. I find it's more of a dry woody green type of oak moss cedarwood combination. And with the citruses and the fruits early on, I do think this 
is probably the most well-rounded, most versatile everyday wear of the three versions of Hawass. Now, this one of the three, no Hawass DNA. Disappointing to me, I wanted to see like a darker Hawass was what I would have liked to have seen, not what I got. What I did get is the strongest of the three fragrances though. This one, wherever you spray, leaves a giant puddle of fragrance oil for a long time. The sillage and the longevity are immense here. This fragrance is on you until you decide it no longer needs to be on you and you scrub it off. It doesn't just fade away into obscurity. So the strongest beast of the three beasts, all three of them are certified beast mode fragrances with crazy longevity projection sillage. This one having the strength being more so in the longevity and the sillage where the other two are brighter fragrances. I find they project a little bit stronger because they're a brighter airier top note where this is a slightly heavier top note, but the rest of the way this is this is the star of the show when it comes to performance overall so while not smelling like hawass it's kind of interesting that it's a hawass flanker smells almost like a dead ringer with minor twists for nishane hachivat it's redundant to fragrances like um afnan supremacy not only intense but it's not a black currant bomb like that it's more about the oak moss like that's the tie-in they're both oak moss bombs but different types of oak moss that's a smokier darker type of oak moss this is a fresher dry woody green type of oak moss cedarwood combo but there's redundancy there but for this profile i think it's one of the best that's out there it really is the quality here is better than the other two fragrances combined i don't find this chemically synthetic up close and out in the air it's the smoothest best smelling quality of the three and it's the strongest performer but it's the least like the name on the bottle this is hawass black so with all of that said, all three are incredible performers. So we can just get that out of the way. It doesn't come down to performance for me. It wouldn't have anyway, but phenomenal longevity projection and sillage across the board. It comes down to when I wear them, which one gives me the most feels, gets me all my feels that I enjoy the most. I'm just happy to smell it when I get whiffs of it or whatever. That's really what it comes down to, the wearing experience. Which is the best wearing experience for me? And for me, it is Hawass Ice. I think the middle release of the three is the best of the bunch for my personal taste. Um, it offers all of the performance, a lot of the original's DNA, it's fresher and more aquatic, and a nice minty note at the top. I'm a sucker for a good minty fragrance, especially minty fresh fragrances. Uh, they're very enjoyable and not that old school fougerish, you know, mint dominant type of stuff, which I do enjoy those. But for a modern twist, a blue aquatic, this is really good. You do get a hint of those spices from the original. It's not as spicy. It's more water and aquatic. And again, like I said, the mintiness, you still have that fruity bubblegum sweetness. It's really good. And it's a, you know, straight up beast. So across the board, it literally checks all the boxes. If I was just going to buy one of these three. I would buy Hawass Ice. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on the three versions of Hawass currently available here on the market at the recording of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I sure appreciate it. I'm going to have links down below if you want to check out any of these three versions. You really can't go wrong. All three are enjoyable. It's not over the top redundant to own all three. I'm happy I have all three. But again, if I was just getting one, I think I would get Hawass Ice personally. But it, they're all really good fragrances. I mean, the hype they've gotten over the years from... Hawass originally all the way to Hawass Black currently. I think it's warranted. So far, they've been, you know, in my opinion, hitting home runs with these fragrances. So, again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications before you leave. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.